Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Newcastle Race Course here on Friday. It is June the 29th, 2018. Gonna look at races four and five from Newcastle, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. I'm um, gonna look at races four and five, the 730 and 805 from Newcastle. So let's get on to it. Starting off with the fourth race, 730 from Newcastle, which is Stobart Energy Gosforth Park Cup Handicap. Class 2 handicap going for a purse of $67,000. This race is for 3 year olds and upwards rated 86 to 105. Field of 14 horses going the 1,000 meter trip or 5 furlongs on the all weather tapito surface. My top selection here in this very wide open handicap, I'm going to go with the 3 horse Eastern Impact. I'm going to go 3 7 1 in the tri cast of the trifecta. 3 7 1 tri cast trifecta. My top selection of three horse Eastern Impact. Paul Hannigan's on this Richard Fahey train, semi real golden by Bahamian Bounty. This horse is most recent out and came the 9th of June, so two, three weeks ago now at um, New Market. Six frongs on a class two handicap. This horse finished second by a half length that day, and he just missed at the end. He was a 7 to 2 favorite at post time, heavy weight of 134 pounds, and he just, just couldn't get that good kick at the end. He, he ran well, but you know, it wasn't improvement off his race before. But I just think coming back up north to the all weather where the races are not nearly as tough, I just like his chances a lot better. He has a good poster here for the um, mid gate uh, from the uh, you know the um, the the in uh, not the inside the um, you know the um how do we say, the middle of the barriers, so um, you know, I think that's a good post draw from the 6 hole, um, but um, that, that new market race was an improvement off his race before which came 26 to May at York, 7 frongs and a class 2 handicap, he finished 10th by 8 lengths that day, and he just never showed up, the ground was a little bit softer than he probably liked, and that probably cost him the race, um, he's lucky today, you're going to get into some very dry ground, uh, which it will be totally to his liking, well, it's always dry in all weather, what am I saying, um, still uh, you know, every time I think of Newcastle I still think of the turf course. I keep forgetting they put in an all weather, but um, yeah, it's always dry in the all weather. He'll like it anyway. But uh, said this race was run on turf, he still would have done a lot better because it's most likely would have been dried ground. Um, but um, you know, he, 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 the ground was a little bit softer for him that day at York, and then before that, Newmarket six frames, class two handicap, finished seventh by one and a half lengths. It was an all out finish, and he just couldn't get that good closing kick, but um, I like him a lot here at 9-2, to two, so watch out. Another horse I think can run a big one is the 7 horse. The 7 horse who is Hol Hol Holmes Wood. I'm probably saying that wrong, but part part of that. Um, Holmes Wood. Um, Paul Mullerin is on this Michael Dodge trained uh, four-year-old gallon by Mason. You know, this horse ran um, last week now at air. Six frongs and a class 3 handicap. He finished 6 by 5 lengths. He had a heavy weight that day, which probably cost him the victory. 139 pounds. He just was never there. Before that, at Windsor, six frongs and a class 3 handicap. He finished 4th by 1 quarter lengths that afternoon, and he just again he closed up a little bit that day but it wasn't enough to win and then before that at uh, York five furlongs on a class two handicap he finished ninth by five lengths and again he just weakened out of it he's due for a good run he's stepping down loads of class and I think that's going to be the key for this horse watch out for him to run a big one also a little bit of a price of 12 to 1 here so to recap my bets for the fourth race the 730 from Newcastle, it's the Gosforth Park Cup handicap. Gonna go with this uh, with the uh, as a top selection here, the three horse Eastern Impact. Gonna go three seven one in the tri cast, so the trifecta. I'll do a small each way wager on the three and seven here. So now let's get on to race number five from Newcastle. The fifth race, the eight oh five speech race of the evening. It is the Stobart Energy Hoppings Philly Stakes. Group three race for class one horses, going for a purse of eighty one thousand dollars. This race is for three year olds and upwards. Philly's mares only Field of nine horses going the 2,000 meter journey or a mile and a quarter on the all weather tapita surface. My top selection here, I like the five horse smart call. I'm gonna go 583 in the tri cast of the trifecta. 583 tri cast trifecta. Top selection of five horse smart call. Five to two, seven year old mayor by Ideal World. Jim Crowley's on this one for Sir, Sir Michael Stout. Um, this horse is a South African bred horse. Most recently, this horse ran 17th of May at York. A mile and a quarter in the group two. Middleton stakes. This horse finished third by two and a half lengths that day, and just you know he closed up a little bit that day, but it wasn't enough to win. I think with a massive step down in class, this horse should run a little bit better back to the all weather. 
start before I camped in a mile, a mile in the all weather in a class four, excuse me, class one listed stakes. He finished seventh by three and a half lengths. He had a wide post shown as the horse's first off the lap. He ne desperately needed the race, just kind of weakened out of it, you know, throw that race out. And then before that, in the Hong Kong Vaz, it shot in a mile and a half, December the 10th. Uh, tougher horses there. This horse finished seventh by six and a half lengths. You know, just, you know, didn't show up against those tougher horses. Also, had barrier number 11, that's a out of 12, which is horrible at shots in doing two turns. Um, but, you know, it was just a tougher race. And then before that, in the Blandsford Stakes, Akura, mile and a quarter last September, he finished six by six lengths, really never was into it. He's been facing, you know, so tough horses the last few years and uh, last last year uh, that with a massive step down class here I just think it'll run a major improvement of a race of off his last one so watch out so to recap my bets for the fifth from Newcastle the 805 it's the group three Hoppings Philly Stakes gonna go with the five horse smart call gonna go 583 in the tri-cast of the trifecta so good luck to all please follow me on Twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody